everybody, Hale, and welcome back to this episode of Midgard Musing. This is kind of just a special promotional video that I wanted to do um, for somebody who I think is uh, very uh, uh, an important and, and worthwhile part of the heathen craftsman uh, community. Um, first of all, before we get started, I want to thank you for, for tuning into my channel. My name's Jesse, and I host weekly videos here uh, that discuss topics on usually you know, Norse heathenry, Germanic paganism, what is quite often today referred to as also true, some of the various Germanic pagan uh, practices and stuff of Northern Europe. So if that's your thing, if you're interested in that, please hit click the subscribe button down below and then if you don't want to miss anything, click the bell notification so that way you get notified every time that I upload new content. Um, but like I said before, you know, today's video is uh, going to be a bit of a showcase um, of someone's work who uh, I think is, is, is he does really amazing work um, providing various uh, heathen related crafts uh, for people not just in our country here in the United States but all over the world. Um, in one of my previous videos um, I did a video um, kind of showcasing some of the, the handiwork of Matthew Petrie over at Odin's Beard Woodworking uh, and he does you know god poles and <clears throat> altar pieces and stuff carvings wood carvings um, of the Norse gods and goddesses and, and figures of lore. Um, so check out that video if that's something that you want. But today I'm going to be highlighting some more amazing crafts that uh, a friend of mine does. I've actually uh, got to kind of become somewhat friendly uh, with this guy. And um, I love his work and I want to share this with all of you folks uh, to invite you to check him out. I'm also going to show you a piece that I have of his actually on my altar. I've, I've shown it in videos before, but I want to try to get a little bit closer view of it for you guys to see. Um, but anyway, I'm talking about, <clears throat> this guy's name is, uh, on Facebook, his name is J.M. Olufsen, and his uh, company is Heathens Greetings U.S. I'm going to put the name right up here, and I'm also going to put his information down in the description for his uh, Facebook page as well as his website or Etsy store where you can find a lot of information and be sure to please stick around for the end of this video because I'm going to have about nine different items that uh, Jam has done to uh, kind of show you guys <clears throat> what you're getting into when you order from him um, and, and he does a lot of stuff uh, with, with regards to uh, wood uh, burnings wood, wood uh, Wood, wood related products, you know, um, and a lot of which is material that is harvested um, on his own property, as I understand it, out in the um, Appalachia mountain ranges of North Carolina in the United States. So, does really awesome work. I want to show you guys right now <clears throat> the piece that I have from, from him, which he actually gifted to me um, last year, or at this point, might even have been the year before, I can't quite remember. <laughs> Um, but it's a really nice piece and uh, it accentuates my altar space so let's go ahead and take a look at what I have from him and show you guys in a little bit more detail what that is all right folks well here it is this is the piece that Jim has uh, Jam has done for me it is a obviously it's a uh, tea light candle holder and it's got um, you know incense stick holders in it so it's an incense burner and a tea light candle holder as you can see it's got quite a bit of use already some burnt wax and ash from the incense so it's definitely be being used it also has my um, the Midgard Musings bind rune burned into the corner up here and of course the corner down there um, <clears throat> but the probably the, the coolest thing about this is the the design that he's burned all the way around the uh, perimeter or the base rather this is a representation of Jormungandr right I've shown this in other videos before but hopefully now we can get some attention drawn to it some more of the details my camera's about as good as it's going to get with the lighting and the uh, detail that I'm showing of you. But yeah, love this thing, right? And look at that detail on, on Jormungandr. 
beautifully crafted, beautifully stained and finished. Um, he did actually provide some incense and a few tea light candles when he sent this, which was really awesome. Not required. Um, but of course, I've gotten more since then. So, anyways, wanted to show that to you folks. This is my piece that I've got from Jim, J.M. Olufsen from Heathens Greetings US. Back up to the video to showcase some more of his work and wrap this up. So, thank you guys for watching. Stick around for more of for, for more of his work from Heathens Greetings. All right, everybody. Well, there you have it. There's uh, my piece that I got from Heathens Greetings US. And I'm about to show you guys some more of Jam's work that you guys can uh, peruse through his Etsy store by going down into the description and see things that I'm not showcasing you here. Uh, but these are items, these next nine items are things that he sent to me that um, he is particularly proud of and particularly eager to want to show you folks. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy what I'm about to share with you and please head down into the description and go check out his work um, through the, his Etsy store. Follow him on Facebook, and if you're in the Appalachia uh, mountain range and want to connect with him, I'm going to leave uh, his um, uh, his uh, organization that he represents down also in the description. His we want to call religious organization, the Uru Dipped Kindred. Um, really great collective of folks, as I understand it. Um, so if you're out in that area and you want to connect, um, all that information is going to be down in the description as well. But thank you guys again for watching today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hail, and I'll see you in the next one.